Hi, in this video we'll be understanding the elements which make up 3D design principles from space, which is the vacant area around something, or the lack of space inside something, say for a tunnel in a, ca a mountain. Another element is plane, which is the area or surface that is flat or evenly level which could be the floor in a building or piece of paper or a sheet of metal. A key element which we'll be focusing on is form, which is the strictly physical element about what it looks like and not focusing on the purpose it fit. For example, the MacBook computer. The form is the sleek metal design, which is aimed at look at modern and aesthetically pleasing, while fitting with the Apple brand, and wants to look smooth and futuristic. A notable artist of 3D design is Grand Kama Marco, who uses lighting and vibrant colors to create 3d pieces of artwork that appear in realistic environments like the cityscape of what looks to be japan but because it's done so detailed with use of lighting and it blends in with the same kind of lighting in the actual environment it looks realistic even though it's completely generated by a computer Another great example of 3D design with form, colour, texture and spacing being used is the Game of Thrones Season 8 video by Grand Kamamako which features a video of Jon Snow running from White Walkers and the Night King and a dragon which in the real show it's, they're pretty scary characters and fierce but these colours make it look friendly and non-threatening, even though you can tell they're a bit grumpy at him. It still it looks friendly and fun, and I think that's a good example of form, which focuses on the appearance and not the function. Another great example of Grand Chama Marco work in 3D design is his character mix which is just visually stimulating and the more you look at it the more you just want to analyze every specific detail which I think is an incredible way of capturing form and engaging with audiences as the use of color and shapes just stimulate the senses and even though there isn't a whole lot of space outside of the characters and it's quite busy you're still you're not feeling overwhelmed and can appreciate each specific thing another artist is Murat Yildirim who uses 3D art techniques to give famous paintings a fur like feel to them which even though you can't touch them you can still imagine how soft it is to touch based on the texture alone and how refined it is to look realistic which I think definitely achieves the outcome that they were looking for Pedro Conti is another 3D artist who is more known for creating exaggerated characters that resemble something more like Pixar with exaggerated cheeks and ears and eyes and basically just you can tell it's unrealistic but it's still a person and the hair is more detailed than what you'd find in 
say another media like the, the Incredibles who look more cartoonish.